Welcome to Serving Up Plumbing with David Butler. Hit that subscribe button, and if you like what you see today, please give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like to see in the future, and we'll see if we can make that happen. On today's video, we're going to be talking about pipe dope and Teflon tape. Where to use it, where not to use it, why do we use it in certain areas, what are the different uses of it, and what are the different things that it does. It's going to be a three-part series, and today is part one. Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about pipe dope and Teflon tape. Where do you use it? Where shouldn't you use it? And we're going to do a three-part series here on the different places we can use it. We're going to be talking about using it on emergency stops, where you put an emergency stop on a copper pipe, using it on threaded pipe like black iron pipe and brass piping that you might screw together. And also we're going to be talking about using it on PVC and PVC tubular products and the whys behind all of it, so that you understand why we use it where we do and why we shouldn't use it in certain places. Now the one thing about this that we're going to talk about today also is the tools that we use to put these stops on with and other things. So let's go ahead and get started with part one. Part one we're going to talk today about some emergency stops. This is an emergency stop. Under every fixture you're required to have one. Your toilets have them. Your lavatories have them. Your kitchen sinks have them. These stops right here are so that you can quickly turn the water off if you need to in an emergency if your faucet keeps running or a pipe burst or something of that nature on an individual fixture. These are also called compression stops. This particular type of, type of stop is always used on copper pipe, sometimes on PEX. It really shouldn't be used on PEX pipe unless there's a proper stiffener inside it, but we're going to be doing it today with copper pipe. And as we install it too, we're going to be understanding do we use pipe dope on it or do we not? And if we do, where do we put it? How much? So on your compression stops, we have a couple of parts to it. And what we have in here is we have a compression ring and we have the compression nut. The compression ring is what actually crimps into the copper and seals it down. Some people call it a ferrule, some call it a compression ring. This is what grips into the copper pipe and makes sure it seals off the water leaks. So the other thing that we would need to do on this also is where do we use pipe dope on this? This happens to be a quarter turn stop. Great stop these days. It's fast, efficient, long lasting. So we use the quarter turn stops. Now, we're going to talk about the pipe dope on this, right? Pipe dopes. Which one do we use? Well, at Milestone, we use Megalock. Now, Megalock pipe dope is a great pipe dope. There's lots of other pipe dopes. There is True Blue. There is Pro Dope. There's T1, T2, Rector Seal. All these are great pipe dopes. The main reason that we use this at Milestone is because this is one of the only pipe dopes that if you get it on something, like you get it in carpet, you get it in tile, you get it on a wall, if you clean it up right then, you can get it off tile or wall or whatever it is. If you let it dry, it's like every other pipe dope. Most of your other pipe dopes, again, I said they're great pipe dopes, but the difference is, is those pipe dopes tend to not come off of things even right when you get it on it. So we're going to set that down and the pipe dope we're going to put right on the end right here. We don't want a lot inside we just want a little bit right where the brass is going to seat and we just want a little bit on the outside. That's all we need. Now we're going to slide the nut and the compression ring on the copper so that it's on here. Now the one thing that compression ring should slide on fairly simple. If it's not if it doesn't go on well, then the pipe is probably out of round. And we're going to push this on and make sure that it's up all the way on there. The biggest mistake most people make is by letting this slide off. You've got to make sure it's pushed all the way on because see it will slide back and forth a little bit. You've got to make sure it's pushed all the way on. And there's multiple ways we can tighten this down now. So there's the adjustable wrench, which is the old school way that I grew up with using a pair of channel locks and the adjustable wrench. You're going to grab it right here on the main part of the stop and then you're going to use the adjustable wrench to tighten it down like so. But that's not what most guys use these days. This, the tool of choice is a rigid one-stop wrench. This does everything. This holds your back up, this tightens your stop, this will even tighten your flex supply after you've got the stop on. So this slides right in here. That's your backup. Then this fits right on this nut here and you tighten this down and you tighten it really tight. As tight as you can get it just about. Now, in the past I've had a lot of guys talk to me about 
How tight do we tighten this? We tighten it really tight. Why did we use pipe dope on this? The pipe dope is not necessarily for the sealing of the leak. What pipe dope does in this situation is it lubricates the thread and allows this nut to tighten tighter down onto the compression nut. Uh, a lot of guys will say sometimes, oh, well, you tighten it down until you hear it talking to you. It'll kind of make a squeaking sound, kind of like a eh, eh, as you tighten down. If you're making that noise, that means it's binding up. We don't want to be making that noise. That's why we use the pipe dope on it. So you use the pipe dope on it, you tighten it down. You have that just a little bit there around where the ferrule is. You do not put pipe dope on the pipe or anything else. You put it strictly on the stop itself. Wait a minute. One thing I see all the time is homeowners using Teflon tape on stops. This is a no-no. Teflon tape should never be used on compression stops anywhere at all. Sometimes people put Teflon tape around here. That just interferes with the compression ring. The only thing you ever want to use on a stop is pipe dope. Never use Teflon tape. Plumbers, homeowners alike. All that's going to do is cause you a leak. We also never want to use pipe dope on the flex supplies. The flex supply has a rubber gasket in each end of it. That rubber gasket is all you need to seal up the flex supply properly. That means well, pipe dope only goes on these threads. We never use pipe dopes on these threads if we're using a stainless steel flex supply. And that's why we use pipe dope on stops. It's not there to seal up the water as much as it is to lubricate the threads. Now, what if you're doing an older system and you're wanting to remove this stop? Well, of course, the first thing you're gonna do is take this nut off. Loosen that off and take the stop off. Now maybe this is an old stop and it's already there on the system. Now, we've got this compression ring. See how it's kind of crimped into the copper? Well, that's a great thing, but now we can't get this one off. They make a little tool called a ring puller. And there's a lot of different kinds on the market. You can see this one's pretty old. I've had this one for a while. This slides into the pipe. This nut, that's the compression nut, comes up here and tightens down on this tool, just like so. And then we tighten this down and it slowly pulls off the ring. You can see where it's moving and pulling it right off the copper. You generally don't want to reuse compression rings. So we get it off, we got a nice clean piece of copper, and we're able to put a new stop on a new compression ring. Why do we use pipe dope on this? This is what it should look like. There shouldn't be a lot of dope down here. The threads are not the seal in this situation. This is the seal right here. This is just to lubricate the thread. That's why we use pipe dope on a stop. And that's how you install a compression stop properly. So that concludes part one. Now hopefully you understand where we use pipe dope on an emergency stop, why we use it, and that you never use Teflon tape on emergency stops. I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, if you like what you've seen today, please hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments if you wanna see anything in the future. Come back for part two, pipe dope on tubular and P-traps. See you next time on Serving Up Plumbing with David Butler.